Hello, Leo, and welcome to your weekly reading. Okay, so we are still in Leo season, the heart of Leo season. So happy birthday to all you beautiful Leos who are celebrating a birthday. Mine is actually also this week on the 16th. So we have as a message because we have a big full moon happening on the 11th in your opposite sign Aquarius. It's forming a fixed grand cross of all the fixed signs, which is you, Aquarius, Taurus and Scorpio. And I feel like things are kind of reaching a squeeze, like it's a it's a point. It's like kind of like you can imagine a like a crossroads. It's like oh, uh, it's ruled by Saturn, this this full moon. So. I feel like it's kind of like wanting you to restructure something or bring new structures in at this moment in time. And then there can be this breakthrough that comes through. So that's why you've got Pallas Athena detached from drama. There could be some dramas around with this full moon energy. And so it's kind of like, because when I'm tuning in for you, I'm getting like you guys dancing, quite literally dancing and just celebrating. So I feel like you potentially like there's opportunities for breakthroughs to come in with this full moon, but it's almost like you have to kind of go through that tight squeeze. It's like going through the birth canal. You could pop out and go, oh, celebration. There's something new that's come out, which is really nice. So detach from drama. This would be the best way to kind of work with the energy this week. There may be a fair bit of drama around. And so if this is you experiencing this as well, maybe it's it's an opportunity to kind of take a step back from that and actually tune into this because it's a very high vibrational moon, this energy of the Aquarius. It's like opening you up to this collective consciousness, this collective upgrade of higher energy that's happening at this moment and uh, directing you, like show, guiding you to, not directing, that's not the right word, but guiding you to the future. So what is this future energy? And so there's an opportunity to to tune up and connect up to that 5D level, which we don't often necessarily like fight. the 3D, our human worlds can be chaos, but up in the 5D, there's a message here for you. So yeah, if you can detach from drama, that is a very Aquarian energy detaching detachment from any kind of emotions emotions and just going right okay what's going on here and see it from an outside like you're an observer looking in that can that perspective could be really helpful for you this week we have theme of the week three of acorns foresight and exploration that's also this sense of you know the higher energy your head going above like you're like the giraffe getting this sense of elevation elevated perspective and going okay now I can see I can can see what's ahead here and so I want to see the things that I want to explore whereas it could be if you're kind of down in this area and you can't see for all the trees and the bushes and the drama and so it is like try and elevate and detach and connect to that beautiful Aquarian energy to kind of see because there is like I said the foresight to see that there's something here guiding you to the future so yeah, and it's a lovely energy of this exploration. It's not saying this is definitely it, but there's something you might want to explore that you you kind of, yeah, a path you might want to go down, which is really fantastic. It feels good because when I tune into you, I, I'm getting, you, like I said, this sense of joy and celebration, which is really nice. So what's shifting? What are the shifting energies that are coming in this week that you're working with? What's shifting this week for Leo in terms of the energetics? And there's so much energetic, like, high energy a lot of things happening on the energetic realm at this moment in time yes it's going to be affecting our our human worlds but yeah there's just so much going on so let's pull some cards for leo they're not jumping for you leo but i'm going to split the deck and see what's coming through so energy shifting oh the star card saturn uranus aquarius we love this so this is where you're feeling again connecting to that aquarian energy of the star card guides you the north star guides you to the future feeling more hopeful when you tune up to that higher energy we've got pentacle princess earth palace okay so there may be some things that you've been working on or developing that haven't it's having trouble getting off the ground at this moment in time. And so that's where it's saying uh, to, to connect up to that higher realm and have the foresight to see where this potentially might be going. Is this something you want to let go of? Is there something else coming in that you want to develop? Or is this just quite simply a sense of now's not the right time or maybe you need to restructure or bring in some new structures with this thing? So, yeah, interesting. That's what's coming through with the energy shifting as well. So let's see what else is coming through. So some challenges. 
I feel like that was that is pretty much a challenge, but we'll pull some cards around what could be challenging you this week. The Ace of Wands, this is not a bad challenge. It's just quite literally about activating something and starting something new and connecting to your passion. So again, it's this energy of uh, you kind of elevating up to kind of work out what that is. There may be some resistance to that. Uh, possibly because there's, like I said, this drama around or it could be just not being able to see this uh, or there could be, you know, for whatever reason, there's some sort of resistance with the Ace of Wands to start something new. Uh, so that's not a bad thing at all, but it may require some courage or to be moving through this. So let's ask what you need at this moment in time, what you need, because the universe, I feel like this North Star is asking you to start this, activate something new. You need the High Priestess. Okay. This is your intuition coming in, trusting this with the high priestess she reveals things all at the the right time like it's secrets can be revealed or opportunities can be revealed so it's like the slow reveal so you need to something to be revealed and shown to you absolutely and to trust your intuitive guidance when that comes in so this can come in through synchronicities or sorts of interesting things when the high priestess comes through but she it's not negative at all, any of these things here, <laughs> Leo. She's Lady Luck, sprinkling a little bit of luck and serendipity over, uh, showing you, revealing you to you what this Ace of Wands is and how you can perhaps activate and start this. So, And again, you've got the foresight to do that. So let's see what's coming towards you this week, things that you may or may not see coming in. So let's see. And I feel like there's a very different energy between when you're in this higher perspective of being the giraffe and having the foresight and detaching from drama as to when you're in it. There's two different perceptions and energy levels that you could be in this week. So, But this is where tuning into the higher realms here, what's coming towards you. So what's coming towards you that you may or may not see depending on which, uh, which vantage point you're looking from, which energy frequency you're looking for, what's coming in for Leo this week that they do not may or may not know about oh justice so this could be new contracts for some of you coming in negotiating looking at contracts this can be soul contracts it can be legal contracts it could be uh, a legal decision that could be handed down something around that as well with the justice energy but it's an impartiality as well it's kind of like we're detaching from something a bit again like like detached from drama where it's just looking at what's fair so there could be something that is uh coming in a fairness could get resolved which is really fantastic but yeah it could definitely be new contracts with that ace of wands that the high priestess is revealing to you now sometimes the contracts energies if we go up to that 5d realm these are soul contracts that you have signed this is what i'm going to do in this lifetime so that is something that's potentially going to be revealed to you it can be anything connection to a person something to do with your career where you're living so the consequences of this is starting something new, <laughs> taking those initial first steps. So it's all kind of making sense here, Leo. The two of wands, you know, the consequence of this, looking at what it is that you've agreed to or what it is that's being activated or renegotiated in terms of contracts. Yeah, you've moved from the ace, it's being revealed to you and you've moved into the two of wands. So you're stepping into it or at least looking to take those initial, like the two of wands is just the very initial energy, that first step or that first, you know, it doesn't have to be a big one, but it's just moving it forward like the fire energy wants somewhere to go. So, yeah, beautiful. Okay, let's look at some external in influences. What are going to be some of the major external influences that are coming in for you this week that's going to be affecting all this energy? What are some of the major external influences that are coming in? This is something more on the 3D realm. I'm asking about here, so major external influences that are coming through. I'm kind of getting the message to pull two cards for this, so I will. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Very nice. A lot of luck. And the King of Swords. Okay. Oh, right. Great. Fantastic. So, yeah, something shifting and changing in your world or someone is shifting and changing. With the King of Swords, this is changing a plan, a strategy. This is the card of Aquarius. So we do have that Aquarian full moon that's coming through that we mentioned. And again, Aquarius is the card of detaching from the drama and looking at something rationally and going, right, I need to make a decision or I need to restructure something or make a plan here. 
And so, yeah, the king of swords is potentially where you're changing some structures in your life, you're changing a strategy, you're changing your mind about something. This could be somebody coming in who's very smart, very intelligent, very much in their mind, in their head kind of energy and they could be coming in and, and be like the change agent for you that will can help you activate this change in your life at this moment in time. So this feels like a catalyst energy with these two together, the catalyst to kind of get this going. So there's someone or something that's coming through that's acting like a catalyst that is going, right, we're, we're, uh, the Jupiter energy of the Wheel of Fortune wants to expand something, which is really fantastic. So let's see, best way to manage or make the most of this energy. Okay, that fully just, they came out. We've got Peacock and Earthworm, Peacock reversed and Earthworm, Earthworm is about starting something. It's the very beginning. It's equivalent of the full card. So it's small, something small. It's, it seems insignificant, the earthworm, but it's something that tills the soil, makes it a fertile space. So yeah, it's all about make, creating that fertile soil in your world for this thing to grow and however that presents. And then we've got peacock reverse, which goes from an air sign to an earth sign, uh, earth energy, once it gets reversed. And I feel like this is interesting because it becomes more of an internalized energy. Sometimes when you read reverse cards, it's either like the opposite energy, like a reversal, or it's more internalized. I just trust my intuition with whatever I'm feeling. And I'm getting for this peacock energy because the peacock for me is where you're shining, where you're being seen, where you're shimmering, where you're like showing your full display of who you are in this world and there's something this is a very internal energy of connecting into who you are your inner brilliance and shine and radiance which is really lovely is looking directly at this little earthworm and saying okay starting small from little things big things grow and so what can you be doing in your life at this moment to be creating this a very very beautiful fertile space for this thing to activate and grow so yeah interesting so that's it leo and that can come in in so many different ways you could be looking at your health you could be looking at your appearance you could be looking at you know where you're living you could be looking at your environment you could be looking at uh yeah, so many things, your schedule, what can you be doing to creating this fertile space, bringing more love into your world or fun, uh, free spiritedness, whatever it is. It says, okay, this is your affirmation card for the week. I'm willing to forgive. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost every problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. So you're giving yourself a little gift. Lovely. I forgive and I set myself free beautiful so i feel like the forgiveness energy whatever this is related to is what potentially might be blocking you from starting and stepping into this there is whatever you're forgiving whatever that was or whatever that is whatever that energy is around you uh, so that you can actually free yourself to step into it so it does feel like there's something very exciting that the higher realms want you to connect to and guiding you to activate and start this week. And it feels very much connected to, I'm getting Akashic Records, soul contracts that, you, that you've come into this lifetime with the Wheel of Fortune. It's very fated energy that's coming through with this. So doesn't have to be like... It doesn't have to be like you a major massive change. It can be for some of you, but it's just starting this, activating this thing. It can be something small, but like we said, from small things, big things grow. And so it's kind of interesting. We come back to this pentacle princess, which is this seed here that's been planted on the earth. It's been having challenge uh, growing. And so then we've got this very fertile space where something can can actually grow. So whether it's this or whether it's something new, that's going to be different for all of you. But it definitely could be very inspired energy. And just to be aware of the two different layers of energy, that higher realm and the chaos here, the drama. And so yeah, we'll come back to the original message, which was detached from drama. But yeah, all in all, some very exciting things happening this week, Leo, and activating. So that's your week. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And yeah, you have the two lucky energies, the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. So some luck coming your way as well and synchronicities. So sometimes these are small things. You know, you might not think that much of it with the earthworm energy. It could be like suddenly you got recommended uh, something 
and it just feels like, oh, this looks interesting, but it could open up to something totally different. So just be aware of the little things that are coming to you that could be activating and turning into something bigger. So that's it, Leo. So happy birthday and please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment.